What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Hawk from Cobra Kai. Let's get started in the center of our page with the lower edge of the eyebrow. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. Start over on the left side, we're gonna curve up and then bend that out towards the left. Let's line this up on the right, go up and then out. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Start it on the left, curve in and then up. And do the same thing on the right. Now we want to thicken up the eyebrows, starting on the outside. I'm just going to taper this in and then down. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to pull the eyelids down along the side, starting from the inside of the brow. I'm just going to curve this up and then bend that down. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. And we'll tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting on the left, we'll step in, draw a half circle. Coming down, and then up on the inside. Let's add a highlight on the left side of each eye. Up against the edge of the eye, we're going to draw a circle. Coming around, and then up underneath the eyelid. And then we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. We're going to start by lining up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center. Let's start on the left, curve down and then up, move up and draw a short curve, going up and down for the bridge of the nose. And then from the tip of the nose, we're gonna step down and draw on the mouth. Starting over on the left, just gonna draw a short curve, going up and then down. Step down, draw a short line going across for the lower lip. Let's add that scar underneath the nose on the left side. So we're gonna step over, go down and then out, and just taper that back up underneath the nose. I'm also going to add a small fold on the inside edge of the eyes. Starting on the left, curve down and then out. Line this up on the right. Let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the eyelid on the left, step out, draw a large half circle. We're going to come down, just underneath the mouth, go across, and then back up on the right. And then we'll round out the side of the head going up towards the edge of the mohawk. Starting back on the left, I'm going to bump the head going out, up, and just pull that in to right about there. Line this up on the right, going out, down, and then bending that in. Let's bring the edge of the mohawk coming down towards the center. Starting back on the left, curve down, and then in towards the point, curve out, and up on the right. And then we'll give our character a headband. Starting over on the left side of the head, I'm just going to curve up across and then down on the right. Step up and draw that again. Point up the middle and then back down. Let's tuck the edge of the hairline in behind the headband. Starting on the left side, we're just going to curve up and then in on both sides. Line this up on the top, draw a straight line going up on either side. And we'll pull this in towards the center. Starting on the left, come in and bend that down towards the middle. Let's pull the mohawk going up towards the middle. Starting on the left, curve in, and bend that straight up. Now we'll add a couple points along the top. Come down and out. Add one short point. Point up, pull that down, and then across towards the right side. Let's add a little bit of texture along the bottom. Starting in the center, curve out and then up. Step over and draw another short curve. Let's go all the way over towards the right, curve out and then up. Let's go back down and add the ears. On the side of the head, we're gonna step up, curve the ear going up, down, and then back in towards the side of the head. Line this up on the right, going up, down, and then in. And now we're going to add some folds inside the ear. Starting on the left, 
go up and out. Go back to the inside and draw a hook. Going out and then in. Let's move down and draw on the side of the body. Starting over on the left side underneath the head, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Go over towards the right, go out and then down towards the same height. Now we want to draw on the top of the belt. From the left side, we're going to step up, draw a curve. Coming down and then up. Let's add the belt in the center starting with the knot. Leaving a gap in the center, draw two short lines coming down. Close off the bottom with a straight line. I'm going to add the sides of the belt, starting from the bottom corners, curve out and then down. Angle up and out with a short line. And I'll curve that back up and in towards the top of the knot. Let's go back out to the hips and curve the bottom of the belt. Coming down and then in. Now I'm going to add some detail to the body, starting with the collar. You need a gap in the center, go to the right side. We're going to angle down and out towards the left side, towards the top corner of the belt. Go to the center, angle up and out towards the left. And then we'll thicken up the trim. Stepping out, just follow that same angle line coming down towards the belt. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side. Let's add that crest on the right side of the chest, starting with a circle, going all the way around. I'm going to draw three ovals along the center, starting in the middle, draw one oval, and one more on either side. And then for the thumb, on the right side, we're just going to curve down and up in the middle. Let's go back out to the hips, draw two short angle lines coming down and out towards the side. Then we'll connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and then bending that back. Let's go back to the left corner of the belt, draw a straight line coming all the way down, step in, draw the inside of the trim. Let's tuck the legs in underneath the body, leaving a gap in the center, start over on the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and back up on either side. Let's go back to the left and draw on the top of the foot. We're going to start from the toe, we're going to draw a curve that goes up. It's going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, stop right about there. And then we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now we'll move back up and draw the outside of the leg. From this corner, we're going to step in, curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the foot. And then we'll go back down and add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Let's go back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the belt. So starting right here, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw on the thumb. Draw a half circle, coming in and then back out. Close off the end with a bracket. And now we're going to add three fingers on either side. Start from the bottom of the thumb, curve down, and then up around that bracket. Step down, curve down and up the second finger. And then the third finger, go out, bend the arm coming up, and then in underneath the head. Out, bend the arm coming up, and then in. And that's pretty much it. There's Hawk from Cobra Kai. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.